So the future of work is is the the opportunity to take you know the the change in the way customers want their services and the products, with the opportunity for automation to change the work people do, because all of a sudden now with automation and analytics, a lot of the manual activities that happen inside of a company today can kind of go away because a machine can take care of that. The future of work is important now because you know the, the technology and the 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 industry is evolving now at a pace, as everyone knows, faster than it ever has before. And so, you know, our, when we talk to our clients, they, they are hearing all these things like digital and talent and workforce experience and predictive analytics. And they, they, they really want to know what all these terminologies mean. You know, the questions we always get are, can you help me demystify the jargon? And then help us figure out how we can get started on these things. And so the, I think the, the opportunity is going to be there for the companies that take a positive you know, view about this. This isn't a, a time to be defensive about, oh my goodness, there's all these changes out there, there's all these places I can invest, what do I do? There's a real opportunity for, to be optimistic, enthusiastic about it, and, and bring your leadership team together, demystify things so you're all on the same page, and then plot a plan forward. One of the great techniques that we've used in a couple of situations in, you know, in the last very recent past is around uh, what we call an immersive innovation sessions where you pull your leadership team together and, and when I say leadership team it's everyone from your top leaders all the way through you know some of your frontline managers and in a couple of days you know you can really make a lot of progress you can level set people on what all the jargon means and after doing that you can envision well, what's that mean then in terms of how I can change my processes where are there opportunities to automate where are there opportunities to leverage predictive analytics how can I potentially source different these activities in different ways. And then I can also then turn that into, in addition, my talent, my, you know, how my organization look going forward. If you're going to automate work, at some point there will be jobs that will no longer be necessary because that work will be automated. But there also creates opportunities for new roles, you know, uh, predictive model designers, robotic engineers. There's a whole opportunity for, for new roles and new jobs to be created. And it's not good enough just to figure out about what, pride, what jobs go away. You also have to know what you need in the future to be able to take the organization forward. And how do I use sourcing partners as a way of unlocking capacity to be able to do that? And then the third part is, well, how do I get started? You know, what are those practical initiatives? You know, a lot of times I hear companies call those pathfinder initiatives, those first few that get my momentum building across, whether it's a, an automation play, an improved customer experience, or making you know, greater investments in talent. The future of work, when you think about it, offers a great opportunity for leading carriers, or, or savvy carriers, I should say, to differentiate. Carriers and insurance companies that think through that and offer that value proposition to employees are going to have an edge, a very sustainable edge, because they will be the employer of choice. Mm -hmm.